Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm pretty excited. I finally just received my Starlink uh, satellite uh, internet uh, dish, I guess you could call it, uh, from SpaceX. Uh, I put a deposit on this maybe about a, a year or so ago. Uh, it was supposed to ship fall of 2021, then it got delayed to the fourth quarter of 2021, and then randomly about a week ago out of the blue, I got an email saying that my Starlink was ready to ship, so I was super happy about that. Uh, at the time when I reserved this, I actually was not expecting an update at all, uh, an updated dish. So uh, for those not tracking, this is their new rectangular dish. Uh, it's supposed to be, it's a lot smaller, a lot lighter, uh, more sturdy uh, compared to their circular dish, which, which was humongous, uh, com at least compared to this. So I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, so we'll start with an unboxing. I'll show you how to set it up and then we'll set it up outside and we'll do a, a quick speed test. So let's get started. All right, so start, yep, starting with the box here. Yeah, no, nothing special, just the yep, standard Starlink box that the satellite comes in. Uh, of course, it was shipped by, uh, by, by mail, so the box is absolutely wrecked. So, but getting into the unboxing. All right, so here, first thing we got, yep, just SpaceX logo cover. This is nothing special about that. Set that off to the side. Uh, we've got a plastic cover here, that's, which uh, keeps everything in place. We'll set that off to the side. Uh, first thing we notice is uh, here's so here's the base of the uh, satellite here. Uh, overall, it's pretty pretty lightweight, pretty sturdy as well. So we're all yep. We'll set that off to the side too. All right, so here's the satellite finally. Oh man, this yeah this thing is this thing is tiny compared to uh, the previous generation Starlink satellite, but clearly this is it. Uh, I have seen YouTube videos uh, Starlink saying uh, don't touch this portion of the of the satellite. So I'm glad I watched that ahead of time, but yeah, this is it. Here's my hand for comparison. So overall, yeah, it's it's very small and just very uh, a lot more conserved compared to the previous generation satellite. We'll just kind of set that there, face up, just so you can actually still see it as well. Uh, all right, here's here's our directions for the Starlink satellite. Literally, there's three steps. Set it up outside. Plug the router into the wall log into your Wi-Fi and log into Starlink. That's literally it, three steps, and there's not even words, which that's that's pretty fantastic in my opinion. Uh, ooh, here we go. So here's our router. So yeah, th I'm, I'm actually, I'm digging this. It's very uh, very modern looking, just in, in overall look, it looks great, it looks fantastic. Everything's combined in just a one singular device. And also I like that there's only two cables with this. I don't know if you can see, but, so something I've noticed, uh, that I'll, I'll actually show you in detail here is that I'm just kind of curious. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to set this up yet. Well, I know some people drill holes into their walls and do stuff like that, but I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not really feeling that. I'm trying to find an, al an alternate method, but like I said, so here's the cable that actually runs from the satellite to the, uh, to the, the router itself. So it's just a quick uh, unplug here at the bottom. Yeah, but here it's micro USB C, which that's, that's uh, that was an interesting way to go. But as I said, there's only one way to plug it in. You can't plug it in upside down by accident. So it just simply plugs in there, and then here's the the power cable for the router itself. Which like I said, I was curious about this one. Like I said, it looks like it's got a nice little weather sealed plug right there, just so uh, it like weather or water isn't getting to it. I don't know why you really need that if it's going to be inside. But but yeah, I'm curious how this is going to work. Because for those not tracking, there's actually another way you can unplug this as well. Like so, you can. Uh, so here's the same plug that was on the other side. It's just your standard micro USB-C. But but yeah, you're gonna have to drill a. If you did drill into your house, you have to drill a pretty decent sized hole to actually uh, feed this through inside. But I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm looking for maybe another method. Somehow maybe like putting it through a window and maybe like weather sealing the window possibly so that I wouldn't have to drill into the house, especially since in theory I want like I'm not gonna be here forever. So said so overall that's it's pretty nice. So they have, they do they do make it so that there's only one like you can't plug this thing in wrong. If you plug this thing in wrong somehow I don't know how you, you would do that, but they definitely make uh this very idiot proof so that's uh pretty exciting. Yeah I'm yeah I'm still yeah I'm really I'm really liking this router. It looks it looks great. But yeah, that's that's really that's all there is for the unboxing. There's literally there's a here's our cable. 
and some directions uh, for some yeah, regulatory notices and it's in literally 27 different languages so we're not going to worry about that but yeah that's all for the unboxing yeah we'll go and set it up outside and then uh, we'll conduct our speed test and set it up all right so here is my classy setup of the starling satellite so do keep in mind this is only temporary until i figure out a better solution but figure this would be at least a good start for the initial speed test and everything so there's my dogs in the background little tuxedo little lucian um so doing the obstruction test uh so this is pointing north this is the starling's best recommendation for the satellite of course as you're going to see there's a bunch of trees and all that in the background so the fact that it's what maybe five feet roughly off the ground four feet or so so probably not the best optimal signal probably somewhere up there would be a lot better but of course i don't feel like climbing up there today to uh set that up plus i don't have any uh mounts to mount it to the roof of my house so we'll give this a try and we'll uh do a speed test and see how this works out all right so we just got the starlink all set up and it's all ready to go uh it's showing that it's online so i'm going to hit record here on my phone i'm actually recording on a different iphone it's an older one so hopefully the video quality isn't too bad but so we're going to run our first speed test with our Starlink satellite, and we'll see what we got. All right, it's already begun. It's going up, going up. All right. So this first one is iPhone to Internet, and it's still climbing, still climbing. So it looks like around 114 megs. Not the worst. That's actually better than I was expecting, considering my uh, classy setup, as uh, y'all saw out back. So it looks like there's three different options. We'll see what the next one. So this one is router to internet. Whoa, it's 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 screaming up there. Looks like we're around 280. Still climbing. Still climbing. Uh, starting to drop a little bit. All right. So this one. So router to internet around 217 megs and maybe around 15 to 20 megabytes uploaded so yeah definitely not too bad and then there's a third option so this one iphone to router whoa oh my so this one's screaming up there too we're getting over three 340 three 350 megs just downloaded and whoa, this download or this upload speed, 350 megs downloaded, and it's over 250 megs. Wow, it's almost 300 uploaded. So that's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll go into the options here and see what these mean. All right, so iPhone to internet. So download and upload speeds from the device to the internet. Uh, router to internet, which was the second one that I did which is your download and upload speed from the Starlink router to the internet. And then our third option, which is the iPhone to the router, is your Wi-Fi connection speed from this device to the router. So basically, my phone being connected to the router, I'm getting over 350 megs. So overall, that's pretty solid in my opinion. All right, so for the Starlink, that was a pretty solid first test. I'm not going to lie, I was actually uh, thoroughly impressed with it. So now I've reconnected my current phone that I use, my daily driver, back to my Spectrum home internet. Uh, it's on the 2G network. This is the one that I'm connected to all the time. Just uh, want to kind of gauge on what we're getting here. So for this, I pay $100 a month for up to 200 megs per second. So we'll see what we got. So we're running our speed test now and it's connecting. All right. Whoa, what? Two. Come on. Come on, kickstart or something. Three, three megabytes per second. It's almost, wow. Not even four megabyte download speed. <laughs> and our upload speed. Seven. Are you freaking kidding me? So, download speed of less than four, 
and our upload speed of roughly seven. Huh. Wow, that's that that's disappointing. I didn't think it would be that bad. So let's uh, do a comparison here. So for my Spectrum Internet, which I pay a hundred dollars a month for, I'm getting on my 2G network. I'm getting roughly four megs per second of download speed. My Starlink Internet, which I don't have set up very well, which is literally a satellite sitting on my table in my backyard, is getting over 350. Also costs $100 per month. Hmm. Interesting. I don't, I don't even. I'm actually shocked that the that Spectrum did so poorly. Hmm. Oh no, no. This, this can't be. Huh? How crazy. All right. So there was our test of the of the two internet. Starlink is clearly the winner on this one. I'm still going to do some uh, some testing on that. Uh, I'll I'll test it like you know in the dark. You know after hours. I don't really think that's going to matter. But I'll test in inclement inclement weather. That's going to be the big one. Uh, probably on the rain, you know, it's South Carolina it rains here probably at least once a week So the next time it rains, I'll do a speed test on that as well to see what kind of uh, Download speeds we're getting with the Starlink satellite uh, when it rains but uh, Something too about Starlink internet is like they're not even done yet So as you could see I was getting roughly 350 megabytes per second out of the Starlink satellite but like I said, it's only the beginning. I know Elon Musk has promised eventually, you know, that uh, his big goal in the very near future, I'd say maybe by the end of the year, because is to get uh, a, a gigabyte per second, which for those of you that know, that's, that's pretty damn fast. So maybe by the end of the year, we'll get a gigabit per second. And then may th further down the road, he's looking at maybe 10 gigabytes per second, but that's, that's stupid fast. That's something I don't think anyone even needs that, especially in their home. Would I love to have it? Absolutely, but you know, I'll, I'll settle for the 350 that uh, I just tested here uh, a, a couple of minutes ago. But for the fact that for what you're getting for a hundred dollars a month is a pretty solid product. Sure, I had to pay you know five hundred dollars for the 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 overall setup, which even Elon Musk says they're losing money on that because I got that updated the new satellite uh, satellite dish. I got the router, and that for five hundred dollars, that's a pretty solid deal. And especially for those of you, like I said, uh, that live in more rural areas that don't like have internet, nothing like that, it might be a, definitely a good option for you. Uh, I'm also more near, uh, more south, because uh, I know Elon was saying like, hey, the more further south you are, then you're not going to get as good a service. So if you're maybe more up north, like in Canada or maybe in some of the northern parts of the United States, you're probably going to get some pretty solid service. But remember too, like I said, uh, SpaceX is constantly launching satellites. I'd say they're launching satellites weekly, monthly. I'm, I'm not sure exactly of their schedule, but but the fact that you know right out of the box, this is what I'm pulling uh, in terms of like megabytes per second in, in internet speed is is pretty solid. I'm uh, I'm very impressed with it. So overall, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please uh, hit that subscribe button down below. That definitely helps me out a lot. Uh, so, but uh, drop any questions you have in the comments below. Uh, in regards to the Starlink satellite, I'm still new to it myself, but I'll definitely answer what I can in regards to my experience so far with it. I'll, I'll, I'm still constantly testing it. I'll, I'll test it and provide some more videos uh, here in the future. But all right, enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.